Hey, hello friendos, welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time here, hello, my name is Laurel. I'm a weirdo that likes to collect and experiment with really nice makeup. Today, we're going to be diving into the Isamaya Beauty Collection. This is her industrial collection set. I'm going to unbox it. I'm going to do this look right here. I'm gonna tell you what I think about all these amazing products. If you are interested in the brand, I will be covering it in the future, so I hope that you'll go ahead and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. Friendos, just stay tuned. Before we get into this one, let me warn you, if you have small children, you may not want to look at this collection or hear me talk about it today because there's some very adult themes. So here's your chance to get them out of the room. Three, two, one. Hopefully your children move quickly. <laughs> okay, so this is what the PR box looks like. So I paid $200 for this. This is the collection. Now, if you don't know who Isamaya is, she's a makeup artist who has worked for Vogue. She's worked for Byredo, I believe Tom Ford, Louboutin. The list goes on, like she is in the makeup world, but she's not a normal makeup artist. She creates wearable art. So when I found out that she had started her brand, I was beyond excited to see what she would do because it was, it was gonna be something weird. I'm weird. I like things that are weird. And if you look her up on Instagram, she's probably the coolest chick I've ever seen in my life. But yeah, here's the collection. So the industrial collection, it draws off themes of the BDSM culture. That's the reason for the photo on the outside and what we're about to see inside. Let's get into it. So on here it says, these are not tools, these are weapons for truth. And then we have Isamaya on the side here. Okay, so inside of here, we have the palette, we have the mascara, the plumping lip gloss, we have the brow gel, and then we have a brush. So yeah, the palette is smaller than what I was picturing in my head, but that's okay. So I told you guys I paid $200 for this kit. I'm gonna break down what each of these would cost had I bought them individually, just so you guys have an idea of the price point. We are looking at a luxury price feel today. The Lip Black, this is a volumizing lip serum. It is $38. And it of course has a black luster to it. This is designed to make your lips look darker than what they actually are. She describes it as sort of a black cherry feel and it's supposed to plump your lips as well. So we'll be testing all this out. As you can see, a lot of these products are gonna have the little piercing decals. Next up, we have the Rubber Lash Latex Lift Mascara. This is $39. It has that wonderful little velour feel to it. And also it does have Isamaya. Not sure if you guys can see that printed on here in the matte black. Anyways, this is supposed to be a very curling and lifting mascara. This is the wand that we see here. And what you're supposed to do is layer up your eyelashes and then you come back and then you use that top to push up the lashes and it holds them in place. From the demonstrations that I've seen so far, it looks like this works really, really well, but we're gonna test it today in studio. Now this brow lac product, it comes with its own brush. This is designed to laminate your brows. You can have them just slicked up or you can powder over them and it's supposed to give that little no brow effect. But let's open it up. So I'm actually a little bit confused on whether or not I'm supposed to stick my brush in here. It doesn't really fit. Or if I'm just supposed to put this on my finger or on a utensil and put it on my eyebrows first. I'm guessing that's the way I'm going to do it is finger to brow and then using the brush. And lastly, probably what you came here for, it's the industrial, it's the industrial color pigments palette. If I can get it out. Here she is, friendos. Let's open her up. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I really like these colors, especially this one down in the bottom. Love the black today because this is such a special palette. So high fashion, so glamorous, so dark and deep. We're gonna explore this along that same vibe. I'm gonna do a more editorial look than I would say a flattering look today. 
All right, friendos, so let's check out some swatches, then we'll come right back and do a look together. So friendos, now that we're back, what do you think those swatches? I'm a little bit taken back at just how pretty they are. I'm so excited for this palette. Some of the shades actually feel different on my finger than any of my other palettes, and I have a pretty expensive collection. So when something feels so different formulaically, I get really excited because I see new possibilities and new innovations in front of me. I can't wait to dive in. I need to stop talking and just put the stuff on my eyes. Let's go. I'm going in with my Lena Chu 02. My Lena Chu E02. This is with the shade Motor. This is a black with a teal shimmer. And I'm going in very softly. I'm going to be building a lot of color onto this. I just want a very faint, dark base. Then on my Sonia G Blender Pro, I'm going to go in with this green to shift sort of duochrome shade. This is the shade Flesh. One thing that I'm noticing now that I'm actually sitting down and working with the palette, there's not a lot of matte shades to choose from. So if you're someone who likes your mattes, this might not be the palette for you. However, if you don't mind experimenting and doing a shimmer in the crease, then I think you will be impressed with this palette, at least from what I've seen so far. I don't mind if a shimmer is very well formulated, putting that into and above my crease. I think it's very beautiful, but it has to be formulated the right way. Look at that shift, you guys. It's just so beautiful. So yeah, um, on my units 203, we're going in with Cup Rum right here. And you guys forgive me if I don't have these names right. They are not listed below each shade. They're on the back, so I'm just having to kind of speculate which shade is which. So here we go. Let me get up close and personal. Sometimes my lighting is not the best, so I like to sort of move myself into and out of the light. Especially when we have shades that have multi-chromatic effects because there's no way to see certain aspects of the shade in every single light. Next up on my NJC Precision Shader, we're going to go in with the shade, you said it was Machine? Machine, this beautiful silver. I wanted to test this out to see what it looked like without spraying it. I normally spray my inner color highlights. It's looking pretty good. I can't say that it's the most brilliant and blinding ever, but it is looking good and I am building it up and I don't see any fallout on my face, so that's a plus. So let's go ahead and spray this and see exactly what we can do with it. I'm using the same brush. Going in with the shade Fetish, we're going to try it out first without spraying. So we have a nice good glint going now. Let me get closer for you guys. And then again, I'm going to dip in 
with the same brush. So going in with the shade Whip. So I'm pretty shocked at how little fallout I'm getting. I don't see any fallout anywhere on my face at all. So now I wanna start adding depth, matte black depth into my look. So going in with the shade Leather, and this is on a Morphe M506. Then lastly, using a crappy Anastasia Beverly Hills brush, we'll go in with the shade Brass. Now let me spray it. I'm going in very lightly with this. So now that I have all the color down, I know it looks kind of a hot mess, but you guys know how this works. It all comes together in the end with lashes and liner. But first, we need to test this mascara. So let's see how it does together. I'm going to apply this as closely as possible as to what I saw Isamaya do in her own demonstration. So I'm just treating it like a regular mascara, just letting it coat all my lashes for the start. Now I'm taking this spiky end, or <laughs> it's not really spiky, that sounds scary but I'm taking the spiky looking end and I'm pushing everything up. Unfortunately, I did kind of a dark eye look today, so it's harder to see what's going on. And I'm really going through it and I'm layering it up, you guys. Just keep in mind, this is not one layer. So I'm gonna turn to the side so you guys can see a little bit better. I think the lashes do look really lifted and curled. Do they look super voluminous? Do they look lengthened? I'm not entirely sure. I have too much down on my eye to really give you an honest answer. All right, Groovy, I'm gonna go do my other eye off camera and I will be back to you guys. Y'all just stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back. I have my lashes on, I got my liner on, and I gotta say, I am really digging this look. You guys let me know what you think. Um. So I think with something this wild and weird, we need a little bit of a highlight going on. I'm gonna dip back into this palette. I'm gonna do something strange. So I'm going in with this shade right here. And I don't use a big highlight brush. I don't have very big cheeks. My cheeks are basically an optical illusion drawn out by good contouring and highlighting. I tend to keep my highlight very precise. And I might spray this brush just to up the intensity a little bit. So it's one of those days, like, I feel like we really need to go bold here. Okay, it's time to try out the other products. So first, let's start out with this lip lac, because I want to have this on for a little bit of time, just so we can see how plumping it can be. So far, I don't feel any burning or anything, or it doesn't even feel minty. It just feels like a normal gloss. It definitely looks juicy. Words from my sister. Okay, what is the... I almost forgot about brows. You guys, how could I? So full disclosure, I kind of have these little nothing embarrassing little brows. So I went ahead and filled mine in. Also, I forgot that I was getting a brow product today. So this is the brow lac. Let's see how it goes. I'm trying to think how to transport this from, from the vessel to my eye. Hmm. Okay, we'll go with just the tip. Okay, I'm actually starting to feel the lip gloss kick in. I am shocked by how quickly this worked. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Okay, maybe I need to tone these down some because they're, they're looking insane. I have sparse eyebrows, but they're fairly long. So, all right, let me tame these down just a bit. Okay, I think that's a little bit more flattering on me. There's literally no residue. You guys. Well, this is a groundbreaking product right here. I feel like my whole world has been shattered. <laughs> Everything that I knew before, I no longer know. Where are we living? So friendos, I think it's that time of the video for me to give my final thoughts. So starting out with the eyeshadow palettes. If you are a makeup artist or you're just someone who likes to dabble in the weird, in the weird part of makeup, I think that this palette is for you. If you are someone who's a beginner and you like flattering makeup, 
This one may not be for you, to be honest. I did notice that a few shades are a little bit hard to pick up with my brush. With the finger, it's very, very easy. I'm not someone who likes to do that on camera. A lot of people don't like to see that. It's just one of those things that you learn by doing YouTube videos. A lot of people do not want to see you put on your eyeshadow with your fingers. I would say though, using my fingers, I would have been fine. Also, there's not a lot of mattes. I think there's technically really only one true matte in the whole palette. So if you are someone who likes your mattes, I really do on a regular basis. For something that is so ethereal, so diaphanous, I don't mind it being a deviation from the normal where I do have more shimmers, more sparkles, and not so much of the mattes. I can definitely see where this is starting to plump my lips. I'm very impressed with it. Um, I also think that it's just pretty. Like normally when you put on a black lip gloss that's sheer, it doesn't sheer out very well. This looks very smooth on my lips. I don't see it gathering or being streaky at any point. It just looks pretty. My lips do not feel like they're on fire. They don't feel uncomfortable at all. I can barely, barely notice that little sort of buzzing feeling on my lips. The mascara is cool. I don't know that I would want to put so much work into putting on my mascara on a regular basis. Like that would not be an everyday mascara for me. However, it works really well. I don't have another mascara that will lift and curl my lashes the way that product did. I am very impressed by it basically holding true to its claims and lifting and curling. And lastly, we have the brow product. I believe it's called the Brow Mac. Yes, the brow lac. Unbelievable. The best, hands down, the best brow lamination system I have ever used. I say system, but it's really just two components. So is that a system? You guys let me know. So friendos, now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think about this look. Let me know what you think of the palette, of the lip gloss. Isn't this brow product phenomenal? Let me know your thoughts in the comment sections down below. I really enjoyed spending my time here today with you guys and experimenting in all this fantastic makeup. I hope that you'll subscribe if you have not done so already, because if not, we'll both have to live in the sorrow of never knowing what could have been. All right, guys, have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye.